the Lord a hand raised for the leadership for every elder, every minister. Come on, clap for the ushers. They give you a fan every now and then. I thank God for the ushers. Come on, somebody. Thank God for the cleaning staff. I thank God for everybody that cleaned the church. Thank God for the musicians. Thank God for the visitors. Thank God for the members. Every one of you are precious, just like the woman of God said. Amen. You got to know that you're precious and that you're a treasure. Somebody say amen. Yeah. All right, y'all ready for round two? Y'all yeah. ready? Yeah. All right, let's sit down, get your piece of paper, some pencil. Let's get on in here. Ah. Amen. amen. We thank God. God has a lot to say to us yes. amen. on tonight. Amen. First of all, I want to suggest, just make a suggestion, if I made a woman of God, amen, can correct me if I'm wrong. I want... Your, you and your families, please make sure that you get the tapes from yesterday and today and any other, other ones that blessed you. But the word that I'm bringing is here to shift you. Amen. And the way that I teach and the way that I preach, it's, it's, it's very packed full of, of revelation. It's very, it's, it's very packed full of secrets and mysteries. So you just hearing it one time may not be enough for you. When it comes down to applying it to your everyday life. Okay, y'all quiet now. I'm losing y'all already. Okay, y'all got to stay with me now. Okay, if you want change, okay, you may not be able to hear this word one time, and that's enough for it to work its way through your conscious, your subconscious, through your spirit man. Amen. Get past all the junk in your ear gate. Get applied to your understanding. Tear down the stubbornness. Make that heart of stone a heart of flesh so it may take a few times. Yes. All right, somebody say amen. amen. So you need to review this because this word is coming to bring warning, to bring love, but to bring understanding. Somebody say amen. amen. Now we had a long talk last night, didn't we? Now I'm trying not to preach. I'm holding back now. We, we had a long talk last night about the lazy spirit. Let me come down here because y'all y'all acting like y'all not with me. Did we have a long talk last night about a lying spirit? Yeah. We had a long talk about how you're going to get delivered. The earth is going to deliver you. Yeah. Not fasting and praying in tongues. The earth is going to bring you out. Yeah. We learned that last night in Revelations 12. Amen? Amen. Huh? Amen. We learned about how important it is to know your assignment. Amen. And to be doing your assignment outside of the church walls. Did we learn that last night? Amen. Y'all with me? Yeah. All right. Now, I do have a sermon title. He wrote a title on my tape because I ain't give no title yesterday. So we're going to try to give a title tonight. Amen. Get down to business. Let's get down to business. Okay. We want to start out tonight talking about a tactical plan about what we talked about last night. Okay, we spent a lot of time dealing with some things and confessing some things and learning that we needed boldness and we got all that on last night. Amen. Amen. The praise was higher today. Your faith level is higher today. Your hope is restored. Amen. You can feel it in the house. Yes. Amen. Amen. So now what we need is a tactical plan about how we're going to get it done. Because it's good to tell people this is what you need to do. But you need hands on every day. How are we going to get God's will accomplished? All right. Amen. Okay. So, brothers, can I just have five minutes just to talk to the ladies in the house? Is that all right? Just five minutes, then I'm a, I'm a, I promise I'm going to switch back over. Okay? There's a desperate need for women's ministry here in the South Carolina area. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the area where you all are living. So, if God has placed in you, which many he have, already shared a vision for a women's ministry, you need to get busy. Okay? Women in this area are struggling financially. Some of them in prostitution. Some of them are having children. Y'all know the story. We talked a little bit last night. Domestic violence. And you can't keep on holding the treasure back being lazy. You understand? Because when you affect the life of a woman, you affect the life of the children. Do you understand that? When you affect the life and the mind of a woman, you affect the womb. Her decisions will be different. There will be some preservation. Somebody say amen. Amen. God can unlock some power. God can do some things in her life. So you have been charged with a task to do your part in winning 